The new image generation capabilities from ChatGPT and Grok3 are all really impressive, but they actually use a new kind of model. This new type of model is called an autoregressive image generation model, and it's different from the diffusion models that powered that first wave of AI image generation. If you remember when Stable Diffusion and MidJourney first came out, they were using diffusion models. Diffusion is even in the name of Stable Diffusion. What diffusion models do is they take a random set of pixels and iteratively try to get it to look like the image that you want it to look like. It's kind of like taking a blurry picture and trying to make it clear. Autoregressive image generation models, on the other hand, are a lot more like LLMs, where they actually turn an image into tokens and then predict that next token. In the case of image generation, a token is going to be representing that image. And in the case of LLMs, that token is going to represent a word or a part of a word. In Grok's case, they actually interleave image and text tokens to get that kind of symbiosis between a text instruction and image generation. The results of these new models are pretty impressive and you should definitely check them out. It's funny that while image generation is moving away from diffusion and more towards this autoregressive type of model, people are trying to actually turn autoregressive LLMs into more diffusion-based models. For example, a company called Inception is trying to do that. I'm Diana, and I break down tech startups and AI without the hype. Follow for more.